Hey guys, Adam Savage here. I am at the entrance to a former granite quarry and I'm about to go inside. But I'm not just going inside a granite quarry, which happens to be in Budapest, Hungary. Inside this quarry is, in fact, the future. Okay, I'm gonna something cryptic about it. Inside this quarry is the universe of Blade Runner and I'm gonna go take a look, come with me. This quarry has been dressed up to be a set from Blade Runner. They've gathered vehicles, props, set pieces, extras, and actor Dave Bautista to shoot a sequence that's not officially part of the Blade Runner 2049 film, but is set within the Blade Runner universe. And they have done all of this set dressing in a mere two and a half days. It's an astounding achievement, and it looks really cool looking. In a movie like Blade Runner, where they have to create a complete cohesive world, they build thousands and thousands of props to dress that world and make it convincing. Now, some of those props are what you'd call static props. They look like they move, but they don't, and they're for background dressing. But some of those props are actually usable devices, and I'm standing in one right now. This is a street sweeper that's been built from scratch for the production. It's based off a of quad design. It's an electric engine, and I've gotten permission to actually drive it. And so I'm gonna use that permission and I'm gonna actually drive it. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is awesome. I'm gonna watch the movie and I'm gonna see this vehicle and I'm gonna be like, I drove that one. <laughs> I'm gonna go a little bit farther, just a little bit. How about there? Okay. Oh. What I love about props like this is how convincingly they sell the world that they're in. Every detail on this was drawn on a drawing board and figured out by someone to be part of the aesthetics of Los Angeles and Blade Runner in 2049. So even the machine plate here is totally fictitious. All of this signage was worked over by designers and figured out, cut out in vinyl, attached. This is sheet metal and fiberglass. It's a real vehicle, except that it's completely fictional. And as a fictional vehicle, all the weathering, even the dirt on it, is fake. And yet when you're really right up and close to it, it feels like you're in an alternate reality. This particular street sweeper is meant to clear snow, and so it's got these uh, snow blades up front, and I can feel that they're made out of sheet metal. I mean, it, this really feels like you could actually clear a snow bank with this if you had to. And I've got to be careful because um, right behind me is uh, some spinning metal blades that uh, look like yeah, that could actually cause me genuine damage for a fictional vehicle. One of the differences about movie making today versus 15 or 20 years ago is that movies are being filmed in higher and higher resolutions, which means more and more details from the set are making it onto the screen. That means that the scenic painting has to sell even when you're standing right next to it. 20 years ago, it might look good on film and look a little weird in person. Today, that's not the case. If you look at something like this pipe, that looks really greasy, it's totally not grease. That's all scenic painting, layered in, layers and layers and layers of the kind of body weathering and earth grime that would attach itself to a vehicle like this if it was in real use.
You want eyeballs? Let's see. I... Now, we are fresh out of eyeballs. What we have plenty of is the ingenuity and enthusiasm of an incredible crew working tirelessly to make what, when you're in it, feels like a complete and total universe. It's Blade Runner 2049, and it's amazing.